name is Zavalny, and what's going to go on today? Well, I, we have good matches here between the uh, 7th graders and the 10th graders. Uh, I've heard lots of good things about the 7th uh, grade team. Yeah, I mean, they look pretty short, but man, they got a mean face. Uh, yeah, they got a mean face for sure. Well, these 10th graders better bring their A game, I'm just saying. One of the person that stands out in 10th graders is Gavin Meek. He's got the... He's got the strong, and he's just got that mean face. Yeah, uh, he's got that. He's got that mean face. Look at that. Just don't want to mess with that. Yeah, no, not a chance. And then Trevor Hovey's over here. I I hear I hear his hair gives him a huge advantage to the uh, to yes. the opposing team. Makes him swift and smooth. Yeah, swift and smooth is. I heard that's his motto. Yep. It seems to me that the. Uh, the seventh grade team has a, has their game face on, and the, the tenth graders aren't really taking this seriously. Yeah. Here we go. All right. so the, rules are your wall. the rules are you have to start on the wall until Mr. Gall says, says go. So I just found out that my co-host uh, Adam Zavalli's microphone has been muted this whole time. Yes, I can speak. In fact, happened? Okay, never mind. It has been. It has been good. It's not been me. Oh, it has been. It's, 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we Are go. Are you boys. ready? Tenth graders, tenth graders. And they, the and they're off to the races. races. The tenth graders get there first, and then oh, we got a line violation. He should be out. And Drew McMillan is the first for the tenth grade team to get out. Oh. We got three people out for the seventh oh, graders. Oh, Trevor this is a big Hobie, game here. the Swift myth is out. He can try to catch that ball, but he couldn't catch it. He can. Trevor Hovey is known to be not be able to catch balls, but that's fine. Oh, you know, we gotta catch Elias Markson. That's a beauty catch out here. Gavin, yeah, no. there's a little yeah, bit of a Alderson. there's a bit of a disadvantage for the seventh graders. They don't have a good arm as yeah. uh, as the tenth graders, so they're getting balls caught. A little bit of right. experience here on the court today with the seventh graders. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Elias Whoa. Markson with a bunch of catches. This is crazy. Wow. Jackson Martin with a catch. Jackson Martin. Jackson Nelson with a catch. My bad. The seventh graders are uh, playing more of a passive game compared to the uh, tenth graders who are playing a very aggressive game. Jager Allman with the ball. Straight into the ground. Oh, a president just got drilled in the boots. And Grayson Cole is walking past and she gets drilled. Oh, we got a cheater over there. Number 88 in white. Number 88 in white. She got hit. She looked around to see if anybody was watching. The fact she is, went back is uh, there's no 88 on the field, is it? In the white. The lady. Oh, I thought that was 48. <laughs> <laughs> seventh, grader are, seventh graders are disappearing, and there's more 10th graders. There's about four 10th uh, four graders out, and there's about... Wow. 10, Eddie Johnson 10, with the 11, oh. 7th graders. I'm not sure, but it's a lot more than the uh, than 10th graders. The problem with the 10th graders is most of the girls are staying back and not doing anything. Yeah. All the guys are putting in the hard labor, you know? Oh, yeah. Maybe they'll figure it out. Looks like oh. the girls are trying oh. to make a stand here. 7th graders are disappearing oh, again. Two of them just dropping out. Wham. Wow. Nice Dropping like Miami. flies. Oh Whoa. my god! So beloved is out of here! Yeah. Oh my gosh! Hit. This is hard to watch. They're dropping. Oh. 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 Gavin Meek with the moves. I Two tell you seventh what. graders. Oh! One seventh grader left. Let's one seventh grader left. He's going to beat the army of tenth graders. Emmett Miller. Oh! And he takes a shot. Goes wide Trevor to the left. Hobie. Trevor Hobie's in somehow. Oh, somebody must have got one. <laughs> Swing and a miss. I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure Emmett's going to need to come in. Oh, he's out! He's out! Hey, you're out! Oh, you go! He's Looks out. like the judges have not checked that one. Judge, Judge Arndt said no out. He saw it. I saw it. My host saw it. Devin Meek with a throw. Emmett throws the ball, and it's something. Knock everybody else on the tenth grade team out. I'm not sure which one's gonna happen, but I'm not even sure if any of them are gonna happen. Smack. 
back wall. Wow. We got a minute 30 left on the clock. Emmett's got to figure something. Wait, He's either who is this? In. Is this Colby Eisenbarth? He's in. Uh, Wait, never mind. He's out, sir. Sorry. Alright, Emmett knows. He throws it. He spikes it in the ground. Gets another one. There's another one. Misses. It's the, it's the wall. Ow. Alright, Andy, Andy uh, draws the walk in. Jake winds up, throws it, misses wide. Oh! And somebody in. And it is Cody Bell. She's gonna show him what's up. I'm thinking the game plan should be. 45 seconds left in the game. Need to either throw balls really fast or catch balls fast. Oh no. He's out. He's out. Dang. It's not looking good for the seventh graders. And it's just going to wait it out, I'm thinking. We got 30 seconds left in the clock. I'm just saying, what a performance by Emmett Miller out here. Oh. Get me. Oh. Emma Miller has really been a team player. He's caught balls, he's thrown balls. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Well, Jerry, what did you think of that? All right, well, I, I thought, well, obviously the 10th graders won by a landslide. Seven traders put up <laughs> Anyways, uh, so how, why, why were you the first person to get out? Because uh, I walked up there, got a ball, and he hit me. Okay, okay. And, uh, and I didn't look. How do, you think your team, how do you think your team played? Overall, not very well. You, you won. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand. Yeah, but we couldn't catch a ball. That's true. That's true. For quite a while. Well, Drew, uh, good win out there. Yeah. Uh, Hope to see you out there next again. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. All right, looks like we got the eighth graders and the freshman here going at it. Brady, Brady Omdahl is already out. That's a shocker. Well, we got the we got the um, eighth graders and the ninth graders here. We're not a hard battle. Oh, we got two catches, two people should come in. All right, well, folks, the eighth graders versus the freshmen are out. It looks like the uh, the freshmen are just putting a whoop into these eighth graders. Look up, Jerry. There's the ball. Oh, a big ball comes through. And it looks like a pretty even game, though. There's about the same amount of people out for the uh, freshmen that yeah. there is the eighth graders. Eric's going to wind up here. Wind up, Eric. Oh, he goes high. He's got a ball left, but I'm pretty sure he's going to use that as a shield. He keeps throwing way too high. Uh, he's going to need to uh, fix that pronto. All right, well, it looks like there's more eighth graders than freshmen right now, which is pretty surprising because the freshmen have the size and the eighth graders have more of the ag agile agility. So well, looks like the eighth graders are going to take this game here unless they can pull off a miracle. Oh, JC Seems is out. Seems like Macy is the Uno only Mas one out. One left. Or the only one in. And honestly, I don't see why she... And hey, she's, she's out. out by, That's the game, folks. By Freshman take game this one. Guy. Oh, now she's out. Macy yep. was out, and now she's out for sure. She has been eliminated. I'm just saying, I don't think the uh, freshmen are very ready for this game. Most of the girls are wearing Burks. I'd have to agree. And then one of the guys are wearing Crocs. Yep, they got to bring an area game next time. Yeah, or not, else they're going to be out forever. Exactly. Not the proper footwear for dodgeball. Homecoming yep. day five. All right. Well, I'm going to be playing in this game, so I'll, I'll talk to you after the game. I'm going to hand it off to Lane Bell. Well, we got a great matchup here between the juniors and the sophomores. Sophomores this is their second game. I believe they lost the last game they played. Oh, it's a huge one, uh, Adam, but so, I, I'm going to pick our uh, sophomores here over our juniors. Just, they look a little bit meaner today. I'd have to disagree. I believe the juniors are going to dominate today, and it's not even going to be close. But you know what? Miracles can happen, just like Miracle Whip. 
It can happen. Oh, yes. It sure can, Adam. We got Caden Sion pumping up the juniors over there. He's uh, talking to Snelly over there. One of the remarkable things about this event is uh, one of our referees, Mr. Arn, this is his 10th year in a row. And they're off. Oh, they're off. Never mind. They're not off. Never, back never to, back to the starting line. False alarm here. False alarm. Hello. Excited there on both sides. And, and the raw to the races. We got the get uh, inside. The Go. juniors oh. off first. Get inside. The, the host is out already. already He's out. out. Wow. Ah. That's amazing. Oh, oh. Austin Quattrobelle is out. Mike Caleb. Oh. No, nobody's well, going Never mind. Out. Austin's not out. Uh, we got another cheater. They're throwing the hair on the juniors pretty hard here. Got a little bit of Michael Jackson playing here in the stadium. See the... Chase Fontaine, Fontaine throws and takes out two, but let's see if he goes out. Oh, what a catch by Brewery. He does not go out. Nelson is oh, out. He is out. Looks like the juniors are taking care of business. Yeah, juniors are. Oh, never mind. Jake Olson is my, my prediction here. Got Jake him. Olson, my bad. Simon's out again. Aiden's out again. That. He's already back in somehow. Or, no, never mind. He's not out. Trevor over here, Swift. Daniel Johnson's out. Caden oh, Simon's Kaden out Simon again. Is out he's again. got the butterfingers. Catch the hands. I'd say he's got the butterfingers. Maybe he's a little nervous, but I don't know. I don't think he should have had that popcorn last nope, night, Adam. Nope. Definitely not a good choice. Ooh, Trevor Hovey with an amazing catch! An amazing catch! Another Hovey! Another Zomber comes into play! Caleb Hodney. Hodney with a throw miss. right into the ground. Ooh. Oh! Caleb Hodney! Oh, Turtles is out! He couldn't catch it! Senior Porter. Oh, Lily Bean is out. Joel Larson here. Another prodigy. Oh. One player that Holy has well, definitely still up is Alex. Alex McGarty. He doesn't have the body, but he has the he has the brain. He has the motivation. He has the brain. Oh. Matthew Novak is out. Joel Larson is out. He does not seem very happy. Oh. And Blaine Carter. Blaine Carter is out. He cannot catch it off the wall. Oh my gosh, it's not for some more people than the juniors now. I wasn't even paying attention. Well, Adam, my prediction may come right and the miracle may happen. This is a miracle. Oh! Nelson where, gets her out. Where did the juniors go? Did they win? The, 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 the juniors won. won! The juniors won! Or the sophomores won! The what sophomores a won. Oh my gosh, our host well, is coming back and he's not going to be did happy. Did I call it or did I not call it? You called it. I was wrong. Well, what? Well, what happened there? What happened there? I really don't want to talk about it. Um, our team couldn't catch a ball, but that's okay. I couldn't catch a ball either. I tried twice. Yeah, got out both times. We saw them in the film. What's your next strategy for the next game? Uh, probably uh, don't go as aggressive because I got out. I was the first person out, so I'll probably play more of a yep, passive game. Yep, yep. So, well, yeah. congrats, congrats. Uh, th thank you. Okay, I'm back, guys. Uh, obviously, that wasn't the uh, turnout we wanted, but hey, can't have everything, you know what I mean? Uh, my co-host, Adam uh, Zavalny, is playing now, so I'll be uh, your only anchor for now. So, yeah. Um, not the greatest game that hey, I could... Are you commentating? Oh, hey, we got another commentator. Uh, obviously, not the game turnout we wanted, but next game will be better. Don't you worry about that. You know, we got to catch those balls so we can get more people in. Yeah, if we caught more balls, we would have had a, a better chance at winning. But, you know, you can't always get what you want. You know, you can't win them all. Nope. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right, well, we got the seniors over here to our right. Eighth graders over left. there. And we got left. the eighth graders to our left to your right. Sounds like the uh, seniors uh, game plan is to everybody go, <laughs> meaning very aggressive. <laughs> we got a we got, we got a one-armed uh, man on the team. <laughs> they're all going. All right, eighth graders. All right, well, definitely not off to a good start. Yep, yeah, they're we not. We got all of the uh, seniors. Oh, up Josh Ham has a nice whip. So, what are your predictions for this game? I'm gonna say seniors take it. I uh. <laughs> Oh, oh awesome big catch! Bad goal with an awesome amazing bad goal. catch. He had about three tips on that one. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, I think the seniors are gonna take this game quite easily. I don't think there's gonna be very much resistance. Oh, Billy G with the butterfingers over here. No, I'm just kidding. Well, hopefully it doesn't hurt me. <laughs> seniors look very, very, very positive about this game. Uh, I don't know what Adam's doing in the back. He's got the biggest arm, you know. 
don't know what you're talking about. Billy Lavig over there, yeah, he's, got, he's got the biggest arm. <laughs> Adam Zavani is uh, using Billy Lavig as a shield right now. Billy Lavig isn't so sure about this idea. All right, we got uh, one arm Willie over here. One <laughs> arm. <laughs> Pretty sure Hannah, Hannah Frovar is out right now. <laughs> Josh is out. He tried, <laughs> oh. tried something very not not useful. Seniors are uh, looking. Work, Josh. Seniors are looking pretty good right now, though. Yeah, there's about oh two, four, six, eight, nine, uh, nine eighth graders, and there's only about six people out for the uh, seniors. So this is looking very good in favor for the seniors. I'm gonna say I'm not really looking forward to when we have to play them. Uh, no, I'm. I'm. This is gonna be a good challenge for our team. Yeah. Uh, our team's gonna really have to come together and work together and and really bind. You know. Yeah, we gotta make sure we catch all of the balls, get more people in. Exactly. Exactly. That is definitely a big po um, portion of our game. Yeah. Oh. We are pretty sure at least four people have been out, but they not, just haven't gotten out. But that's the fine. Seniors are just zinging them in there. Yeah. They got more seniors out than I would have expected, but hey, yeah. anything's possible. Yeah, the our game. Oh. <laughs> The seniors are dropping like flies, honestly. Yeah. But Adam comes in with his quarterback arm and just zings them through. Yeah, our game. I got. I took a ball right to the face. Didn't feel very not good. Not comfortable. But. Not comfortable. Oh, and that's the game. Seniors win. Seniors win with ease in my <laughs> mind. Adam, what'd you have to say about that game? Well, two balls. I said we did our business, we did our job, and prepare for the next game. That's it. All right. Milo, what do you have to say about that game? Oh, man, that was pretty crazy. Uh, we, just got, we just got absolutely destroyed. I don't think we were right for that one. All right, well, thank you. Good luck in the next game. I got to go play. We got the freshmen and the juniors here. I'm picking the juniors here to win, Adam. I don't know. They lost last time. This could be a good game here. It could be another upset. It could be a close one. Just come down to the wire. I believe this is a loser out game. Dodgeball. Oh, Carson! And Carson. nobody's out on And we got fish bait. Carson out right away. He's out. The juniors just no, took over all those balls. Joe right? Larson with the big cannon. Cannon's on, dancing on the field. Caden's son is already out. Caden still didn't get that butter off his fingers from last night. Still on his fingers. Wow. Maybe somebody should bring him napkins out there. Looks like juniors have the lead by a little bit, and somebody catches one, and Joel Larson is Joel in again. In. Oh, and he's oh, out. Never mind. Out. He is out. That was a quick one, folks. And he does that not look happy. I'll one. tell you that. He is furious over that one. I would be mad too if I just got in and I got out right again. Joel Juniors are pulling away with this line. as uh, flies are dropping. <laughs> Seth Nilton, Seth, Seth Nilsson with, with a kill. Novak, oh Novak with the moves, but could not get him. Caden Simon is in again. <laughs> They got two more to pick off, the juniors do. Dodgeball is anybody's game. We got like three that. minutes left here in this round, but hey, I miracles think can happen. A miracles earlier. can happen. We, we noticed that. Oh, oh maybe not one. today, though. Maybe not today. And there's two. The and they're just done. Quick, finish her off with 250 left to go here. Quick game here. Talk to inside. What do you, what'd you, what'd you think about the game? Went here today. I think it was pretty good. I think we had a pretty fair team, fair game. I think it was yeah. pretty good overall. Awesome. Well, good luck. Yeah. Talking to Kaden Syme here again, team captain. How do you think the game went here today? Uh, well, first of all, I'm not sure if I'm the team captain or not. But anyways, 
Uh, I think it could have gone better. Uh, we we caught balls better. I didn't. I'm still not very good at catching balls. I caught one, but not the other two. But uh, I think there's room for improvement. There always is. But uh, uh, we'll see you next game. Alrighty, sounds good. Back to our co or our host, Kane Syme. <laughs> hey guys. Uh, now the uh, who is this? That is. The seventh fresh versus eighth. seventh graders. The fresh versus seventh eighth, eighth seventh graders. graders again. What in the world seventh is going on here? This is the eighth graders again. This is a rematch. <laughs> this is a dog to dog fight. The meanest and the roughest. Ella Thomas. <laughs> wow, this is gonna be a good game for sure. Out. We're head hunting in the crowd. Rifles one. No reason whatsoever. Ball is gone. I knew this is uh, Mr. Gall's song. Oh, yeah. Hey, talk about Mr. Gall being mad about that ball. Yeah. And Mr. I'm pretty Gull. sure Mr. Gall sings this um, every morning and every night. That's just a rumor, though. I, I can't tell you. That's his alarm clock. He sings it when he wakes up, and he sings it when he goes to bed. Amen, brother. <laughs> oh, somebody took one in the where the sun don't shine. Oh, oh! So I'm gonna miss. We got the seventh graders and the eighth graders playing right now. It's a real tough game. Both teams are playing their hearts out. Uh, looks like the uh, eighth graders have more people on their on their team right now. But any predictions? Any predictions? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go with the eighth graders. Oh, okay. These are the eighth graders, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the eighth graders. Right. Oh, they look okay. like the uh, team to go with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the seventh graders are definitely dropping like flies. Yeah, the seventh graders. It looks like uh, Emmett Emmett uh, Emmett Miller is gonna be one of the last people again. Which, I don't know if that's a good thing. Does that mean he hasn't done enough, or...? Lily, go around! Lily just took our picture. It's kind of weird, was but embarrassing. Fine. Not a big deal. I might quit this job now. Really? No. If you quit, I quit. The only reason I'm in this because of you. Thank you. Looks like Emmett Miller and uh, Kobe... Um, Kobe Pashong are the last people. We got, we got two minutes and 20 seconds going. And... Oh, hey. and Kobe gets somebody out. Evan uh, gets somebody out. Going. 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 Gone. Oh, this is uh, Mr. Hollingsworth's song. That's crazy. Back to back. Out. And the game that, is uh, over. Oh, the game never mind. Is the over. eighth graders will take this one. Good game. Seniors versus sophomores here. A uh, big game here. Um, the sophomores are undefeated, and the junior or the seniors are also undefeated. So this is going to be a match for the for the for the money. You know. How's it going, Caden? Uh, I'm just sitting over here. Uh, the senior, it's going to be tough. Uh, both teams are undefeated. Uh, both yeah. teams have very good assets on the, on, on the, on the bench. But uh, it, it's all going to come down to catching balls, uh, dodging balls, and throwing balls. You, hey, know? you know what they say, dip, dive, dodge, and oh, dodge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> The seniors go, and only about six seniors or seven. Seniors are getting hosed. Oh, only about six or seven, eight or All right. sophomores go. All right. I'm just gonna say it's looking good for the seniors right now. It looks like they are showing their dominance over this uh, young team. Yeah, this young team. Um, they, one of the one of their good things about them is. Uh, they're young. They can learn. The seniors over here, they've been going through this for how many years? And so it's really, it's really up to, uh, up to the sophomores to see what they have. You know? Yeah. They can challenge these seniors and and play their best game of the year, or they can just lay down and take it. Yeah, you know. 
You know, you can either lay down and get kicked or be the one kicking. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what Mr. Hollingsworth says? Or no. You know what Mr. G um, Mr. Berg says? If you have your foot on their throat, you got to step down. You know? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's Mr. Shower. That's Mr. Shower. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, it looks like the seniors are really taking it to him. Yeah. Except no. Well, you know, the the seniors have more uh, the seniors have more people out right now. Yeah, it's three to two. You know. Three to two. Yeah. This is a good game. We got three minutes and forty seconds here. Oh. It's gonna be a good game. You know what they say? Yeah. When you have three minutes, you you, you gotta three you minutes. gotta play them. You know? Yeah. Oh, Josh Ham with the nice beam hits a sophomore. It looks like the judges are really taking it to these seniors. About yeah. Their you know, I don't know. This is gonna be a good game all the way to the finish, honestly. I mean, there's two there's two possibilities. Uh, ooh. I don't think Mr. Arn's very clear with these rules. Uh, Mr. Arn is just taking it to him. A Seems like Mr. Arn doesn't know his stuff. Yeah, I don't That's know. fine. That's not a big I game. think he it's forgot to read right. the dodgeball handbook, honestly. Yeah, yeah. That's unacceptable. Oh, Nick Thompson with a nice beam to Caleb Hodney's leg. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but these seniors really curve these balls to where they need it to be. It's unreal. Um, it looks like a whole lot to two. Blaine Carter versus Damon Field. Oh, Damon's caught out. All right, it's up to Blaine to win this game for his team. Oh, Blaine just drops the balls. I think I think he's gonna use some tactics here. I think maybe he'll just stand back and catch the balls. That would be a smart move. But there's only a minute and 35 seconds left, so and that's I think, a problem. And Adams of all these back in, so he could really whip that ball down there. Yeah, you know? yeah. And he's got the accuracy of a hound dog. Yeah, if that makes sense. <laughs> All right, one-armed Willie is gonna wind up here. Oh, Nick Thompson with a nice curveball. One-armed Willie one -armed rifles Willie. it. Oh, oh and he's no. out. Gets him right. One-armed Willie takes the team out. Gets him right. One-armed Willie. Well, how was that game for you? Well, I got out early, but we caught a few balls, and I was back in, back in my A game. And we got the W. Congratulations. Right. We got the juniors and the eighth graders coming up. Uh, Adam, who do you think is going to take this one home? I'm going to have to go with the juniors here. They got more experience. They got the they got the weight. They got the height. They got the arm strength. I think they're going to pull it off. I agree, Adam. I agree. We got Joe Larson over there. We got Shannon. Kid inside. He's having a hard day, though, with the butterfingers. Change the song. This is making me sad. This is making me sad. Well, apparently they never established a rule about crossing the inbound line over here. I went to go grab a ball and I got called out for doing nothing. That's right, nothing. That's just not fair, huh? I know. I was mad. Mr. Art, one of the oldest officials in the game, just called me out. I was going to argue with him, but I decided, you know what? I'll go out because we're going to win anyways. That's a good call. Oh, we had some people leave well, early the from the... juniors just kind of jog out there and still beat the 8th grade, grade side. Grade. Eighth graders looking a little skittish out there. Definitely a lot of standing. Not I think our young kids them. today got the deer in the headlight look in the yep, in definitely, eyes today. Definitely. And Joe Larson, I think, just got out. And again, he is not happy. But they caught one, so he's right back in. Wow. It'd be a shame if he got out right away again. This is a very slow-paced game. Austin Cradiville just got out. Oh, she crossed the line. And she's out. Joe crossed the line. 
Alex Midgard. He would lose his mind. Oh, gets out. I thought Joe just got out, but no, he uses the cannon and launches. Oh, and he Joe is, out. is out. He is about to rage and go over there. He is furious. Oh my gosh. Getting time back in. It seems about even, Adam. Three minutes on the clock. Snelly's pointing him out. And he misses. This game is actually really close. Oh, and the ball's in the air, and Snelly will catch it. They're about even right now. Sign shows off his hands and finally oh. wipes off the Butterfingers. We got a rainbow. Maggie is out. What a good sport. Junior, some more people now. Oh. We got it caught. We got it caught. And Craddaville is out. Gordon this is game out. is getting close. The eighth graders come back. My Lilo. Alex Port Alex Midgarden's in. Okay. Okay. Seth Nelson with an amazing with a great catch. catch. Joe Larson's in. He's showing off them lineman hands. Again, he is pumped. <laughs> Seth, Seth Nelson another with one. another one. Another catch. Another catch. And this game is one about left. over. One eighth grader left. And he is making the great catch. Now there's two. Joe is furious. Seth with the hands of a Nelson crab. Is, oh, the great catch by Julia. Caden Syme is out. One eighth grader left. Oh, Ooh, it's a close one, but he's still in. We got one more eighth grader left. One minute remaining. Oh, one man versus an army. Snelly with the cannon. And it's going right into the ground. Oh, what a save. And just like that. He's out. Joe Larson with the game winning Joe catch. Joe deserves the MVP right there. He is pumped. He is pumped. I'd like to interview him, but he is so pumped. I don't think he'll come over here. We're going back to our host, Kane Sai. Hi there, guys. That was an interesting game. Oh. All right. Psych, I'm, I'm uh, going to go back out there. Right, I guess I'm back out there. Pretty tired, uh, not going to lie. Hopefully we win. Let's hope so. You know what I mean? We played these guys once, but we lost them the first time. Hopefully the second time goes better. All right, I'm out. Back to your second co-host, Lane Bell here. I believe the seniors are the only one that haven't lost yet. If I'm correct. Yes, that is true, Adam. And they look ferocious and ready to take another trophy back home from the yep. last year. Yep. Well, the sophomores beat, had the upset last time. Uh, Sounds like the, the juniors, juniors are chanting something. Not, I'm thinking I'm going to go with the juniors this time. They they seem angry about that last loss, and I think yep. they'll come back and win this one. Yep. They're playing back-to-back -back games, so they could be tired. Their arms could be sore. Juniors are looking for one more player. We have to actually get that huddle as well. We're going to get a huddle and then we get And they're off. As the sophomores will beat everybody to the line. Oh no, Trevor is out already. And Alex Midgarden's Alex out. out. This is a tragic loss for the juniors already. The juniors Caden Syme should be out because he crossed the, the line. Caden is out. He's out. I think he's out. Caden oh. Time getting that warning call for the line there. And Caleb Hodney is out. But Elias Marks. Sophomores are destroying right now. They're out, they, they barely have anybody out. They don't have. Any. Well, looks like the sophomores are kind of in the lead right here. Yeah, them sophomores are really taking taking it out out on the juniors. Oh, is, as I'm waiting for they've already they've already made the upset today. 
Joel's got a ball. He's waiting to throw it. He winds up. He throws it. Miss. That's right into the dirt. James Fontaine with a hit and sunk. Oh, Caden. Caden's out. He's out. Caden Syme is out with that cannon. Caden Syme is out with that cannon. Austin Crossbill misses. I just like to add that this game is this game does not matter because the seniors are winning the championship. Mr. Butterfinger. This game is just a mess. Oh, and the ball goes out in the stands. Right, guys, the Throw it out over here again. There, there is only two left for the ju for the juniors right now, and I saw they look that like, oh, Joe Larson with a great catch to bring in one. I want to comment to Joe Larson. Joe Larson here. He's got a ball in hand. He's ready to wind up. He's got his, he's got his target lock. Oh, he's oh out. Joe Larson is out. He claims it was the ball. He claims it in his head, but he's he's but he's he going to be called out. His shoulder. That is what a game, and the juniors are out. The juniors are out. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to be interviewing uh, Austin Cradle here. What do you have to say about this game? Today? You know, I'm a little disappointed in our team. We couldn't well, guys, all, you know? Obviously not the turnout we wanted, but, you know. And back to our uh, co-host, Austin, Austin Cradville. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to interview uh, Joe Larson over here. Joe Larson, how'd that game go? What'd you think? That was bull crap. Okay. It was bull crap. Thank you. Well, Caden, what's your thoughts about this game today? Um, honestly, I don't think it's going to be a sweat for these seniors. They're going to they're gonna take it all. They haven't, won, they haven't lost the game. Uh... Did, we didn't play these guys, did we? No. That's pretty It's pretty not fun. You know, Kate and I, I really think the seniors are just have, definitely going to just dominate this game. Uh, we have one of my buddies over here, uh, Jace, uh, Jace Wareham. Um, what do you think? Thank you, Jace. Um, honestly, I, uh, seniors are already off to a good start, except they have one guy out, two guys out. But the uh, sophomores have three. Um, you know what they say, the more guys that are out, the better you're probably going to win. Um, yeah. Jace, uh, who do you think is going to win this game? Seniors. Seniors. Man of few words. I, I, Kate, I, hey, Kate, I don't know about you, but I'm really digging Mr. Rolls, man. <laughs> Mr. Gall is getting really dancing in there. You know, he's getting into it. If you uh, if you look down to Mr. Gall, you can see him dancing. It's uh, it's unreal. Holy! Austin Brandle. Mr. Gall is breaking some moves out. Oh, now he's done. Now he's done. It looks like the uh, the sophomores are going to be the underdogs for this game. All right. So what's your thoughts about these uh, judging papers? That's really great. Yeah, I think you guys are taking it a little too far. Yeah. All right, the rules are the rules. Fun. I'm leaving. Yeah, I guess. All right, goodbye. Have a great day. Okay, I think these seniors, they're just tearing them apart. Where's my phone? Right. We're back. Uh, sophomores have three people left. Seniors have 100. Yeah, they have Some... quite a few. And uh, Caleb Hodden, you putting them in there. Oh, I think Blaine Carter is out. Blaine Carter's out. Oh, so it's two uh, to... A lot. Two to like a hundred ish. Who's that? Is that? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, she's out. Who's the girl? Yep. Who? Gina. Gina is out. Genie. Genie. Something like that. Yeah. There's too many people like that. Oh, and Jacob Brodina is out. Oh. oh. Trevor Hovey is out. Oh, Caleb Hodney takes a big shot to the body. What do you say about that game? Well, I thought our team played very well. We uh, executed everything really well, so I'm proud that we won. I love the outcome. All right, that's there. Have fun in this game.
All right, here we have uh, Andy Johnson up there. How was that game for you? Uh, it was pretty okay. Pretty okay. Um, how do you think your team did? Pretty okay. Pretty okay? All right. Okay. How do you think you did? Not very okay. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. thank you, Andy. Yeah, Good welcome. luck next year. Uh, Trump 2020. Trump 2020, he says. All right. <laughs> All right, now, we have the seniors versus the teachers. This has been the game the whole school has been waiting for. Huge matchup here. Big rivalry. Big rivalry. How do you think your team did? Bad. How do you think your team did? What? How do you think your team did? Horrible. How do you think your team did? We're the suckiest team. Good. Emma says good. How do you think your team did? It sucks. That's Cage's brother right there. That's him. How do you think your team did? Okay, I guess. Okay, I guess, she says. All right, we'll get some perspectives from the females. How do you think your team did? Terrible. All right. So some people, terrible. How do you think your team did? Awful. Very bad. How do you think your team did? Okay. Okay. That's for some people. Looks like it was a, this yep, uh, looks like a big game, <laughs> huge game versus uh, some teachers and some students and uh, all the seniors. And honestly, well, most of the seniors, anyways. Oh, it looks like uh, some teachers might be cheating. Uh, Mr. Hollinger really isn't moving so much. So I think he might have a ball behind his back. <laughs> um, he has like four balls behind his back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Hollingsworth! He still got like two more back <laughs> Yeah, he does. This is a big game for the seniors. They get to peg all the teachers that they didn't like one day. This is for first place in the dodgeball tournament. All right, here we go. Here we go. Seniors are off to a good start. Oh, Hollingsworth is already out. Oh, I just saved that kid's life. <laughs> um. Joe Larson spikes the ball onto the ground. Oh, Ethan's floater caught by Owen. Oh, Mr. Gall. Oh, Seniors are looking good right now. They are dropping them teachers like flies right now. Oh, you know, it's looking good, but uh, I think those seniors need to keep that ball down. Ooh. Mr. Gall almost caught that ball by Mr. Amy Saul. takes a rough. He looks like. He looks like he's new and has butter all over his fingers. Billy missed a uh, ball to him. Oh, Mr. Mr. Shroud takes under the shoulder. Seniors are looking very strong right now. Oh, uh, Miss B gets Adams the ball in the out. Seniors are just showing their dominance right now. They are just saucing the balls in there. Kate Sign with the catch. Oh. Nick Thompson gets Miss B out. Oh, Kate Sign's coming up to the line. Oh, uh, Mr. Hollies goes back in that I just noticed. And it looks like Mr. Berg's just hiding out in the corner. <laughs> oh, Josh rifles one in there. Carter Spoonley with the hit on Wyatt. Oh, 
Mr. Hodger acting like he doesn't have a ball. Yeah. Oh, everyone I think is going for Mr. Hodger right now. Oh, he's Hodger running up to charging. Right. Throw it. I miss. It's Nathan Devon out. I don't think that's any really credit. He's got a gimp arm, so I don't. I don't think that's a good uh, accomplishment. Oh, Mr. Berg rifles one down there. Oh, gets out by Bennett. Oh, Hodger misses a catch. He's just like in his high school to be. <laughs> oh, nice one. Give me there, man. Oh. But the one thing is, is Mr. Hollingsworth was in a state game for his junior year. Water boy. He played, he played, he played. Actually, he was a water boy. Too, but he was a second strict tight end, and I guess uh, the tight end that started over him, he went, he went, uh, just graduated I think, last year from uh, NDSU. He's really big. I guess he's huge. But uh, you know, we're looking good right now. The seniors are hosing. Teachers and students have about two people left. Seniors have approximately ten. Uh, it's a whole lot to not a lot. Yes. I don't know. I don't know what is going on in this game right now. Kale Pony with the miss. There is no one throwing a ball. Caleb Hodney looks like a spider monkey out there. All that's left is Caleb Hodney for the teachers. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's just going to take one good rifle. And he's going to drop. I think uh, seniors are going to take this. And, you know, it's going to be on a tug of war. And that is game. Awesome game. Danville with the catch. Right, and the game. A senior. So, Simon, what do you think about that game? Not going to lie. I'm pretty sure I jammed my big toe, but not a big deal. Uh, I'm really tough, I guess. Um, we gave them a good run. Uh, better than most other teams. Not, not, not going to lie. Uh, but that, that ball from... Uh, who got me out? Nathan, I think. It was a good ball. Low at the feet. Couldn't really do anything about it, but jump. I didn't think about jumping, but right. yeah. Yeah, hey, good game out there. Thank you. Fine. Well, we're here with Nathan Zavalny here, and uh, what do you think about that game? Uh, which one? Uh, teachers or the... Teacher. Um... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Hollingsworth had a ball behind him uh, to he start the had match. Two. He got me out. Yeah. He got me out. He rushed me and... He just beat me to it. Um, but yeah, overall, I don't think there was a tough game. I think we knew we were, we were going to win. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Yeah. Right. I think it's on a tough All right, guys. So, on to the next game. We got Tug of War. We got the 7th graders versus the 8th graders. Well, the 8th uh, graders definitely have the size on the 7th uh, graders. This is... Yeah. They are impressive. looking good. Hey, but... They're, they're pretty tall, but do they, have, they don't have much girth. We have Cage Eisenbarth's uh, brother back there. He's looking very thick, all right? Yeah. Colby. He's definitely going to help this team out. <laughs> Seventh graders getting a game plan down. All right, Caden, what's your thoughts on this? I'm, I'm going to say eighth graders take it. No problem. Yeah. Uh, honestly, the seventh graders don't have, look at their, shoe, their shoes. <laughs> Two of them have Burks. One of them has sandals on. It's just not a not a good not good footwear for this game. Oh. Eighth graders are pulling. Seventh graders are not putting up a big enough fight. Oh, eighth graders, eighth graders tuck that, that one. No Jeez. problem. <laughs> Mr. Gall's Gall against the eighth grader, seventh graders. Oh, freshman versus sophomore. This has been a game that all the, what do you the think whole about school that has been waiting game? for. You're a terrible, terrible, terrible commentator. All right, thank you. All right. Get going. We're going to edit that out. Mr. <laughs> just came over and called me a terrible uh, commentator, so I looked at Mr. Ransom and said, we're going to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Honestly, I... I I gotta give it to the I gotta give it to the sophomores. Yeah. They are looking really strong right now. 
All right, tug of war. Oh, oh, oh Sophomores oh, are Sophomore's taking game. it, bringing it. Oh. The freshmen are giving it all they got, but oh. there's not enough there, obviously. All right, I think we're up, Caden. All right, I'm going to think it's going to be juniors versus seniors here. Not going to lie, seniors are going to take this one. Yep. They have every year. It's not a big deal. I'm not going to lie to you. They have a power team. <laughs> Some sad. <laughs> Mr. Gall's down on the court at uh, center court singing. Okay. Right, Juniors versus go. eighth grade. Okay. All right, I think this should be an easy dub. Change of uh, tide here. We got the juniors in the eighth grade here, and juniors have Cradable in the back, and I don't know. I think the juniors could take this one pretty easily. Hi, Mr. Hansen. We got the juniors here going up against the eighth graders. Juniors really have a mean, ruddy face. I think the juniors are going to take this, no doubt. And they're off. They're it's pretty neck. close. It's, it's neck and neck. Moving. It's no one's winning this one. Oh my gosh. It I is very move. close. Nobody's moving. moving. It's not going either oh. way. The eighth graders, the eighth graders are the eighth taking graders. the lead. It they're could be win. an upset. They won. It's an upset. The eighth graders won. Oh my gosh. What an upset. This oh is amazing. Gosh. Wow. I'm going to talk to Kane Syme here. What do you have to say about this? Well, they got about 40 people on the rope. I'm not even sure they go. They get up to 1,500 pounds or whatever it is. And uh, honestly, I'm pretty sure the uh, our uh, student advisor guy, did, he didn't weigh us, so I'm pretty sure we could have had a, f a few more people on there. Well, that's Kane Syme for you. I'm going to go back to your post, Kane Syme. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. Uh, apparently, that. apparently, our school isn't, or our, I am our class. I'm very disappointed that. Our class is not very good at this. I close to 2,000 pounds, not 1,500. I honestly couldn't get grip. Our advisor didn't uh, weigh us, so uh, we could have been very, very below 1,200 or 1,500 pounds. Uh, I'm going to take this blame. You dealt that highly. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to blame that on the advisor. That's, yeah, that's all the advisor's fault. We would have won that game. Honestly, now, I, I just think from now on, we're not going to be able to, we're not going to be able to bring it oh, to home. Oh, no. Holy smokes! Sophomores. The seniors used to be the powerhouse, and now they're not so much. The sophomores are really giving them a buck, a uh, run for their money. Uh oh, uh oh! Sophomores are bringing it home. Sophomores are bringing it home. What is going on here? Seniors are sliding. Seniors are sliding. Sophomores are going. Sophomores are going. Seniors are going now. Uh oh. Seniors might have it here. Seniors might be bringing it home. Seniors are bringing it home. Seniors are bringing it. Wow. That was a fight and a half. I never would have thought. I don't know if I'm really looking forward to pulling against them. No. Um, I, like I said, we just lost to the eighth graders. We're not going to win. Period. Uh, I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy, but we have to be a negative Nancy. All right. Here we go. We got the... The juniors and the seventh graders here going up against each other. The juniors, definitely. If the juniors can't win this, this will be upsetting. I mean, this will just be a sad day for the juniors. They should still outweigh him, though, Adam. Shouldn't they? Outweigh him in muscle. Freshmen definitely have more people. Alrighty, well, they're off. And the juniors are juniors just won. plowing through the younger class. Shocker. What a win there for the juniors. I uh, really did not expect that. No. Um, we I'm fired off sure that line. Mis Mr. Uh, Mr. Gull's pep talk really helped us out there. Yeah. And honestly, <laughs> not going to lie, I acted like I moved the uh, bandana, and Mr. Gull saw it, and he moved it my way. So he gave us the upper advantage. Not gonna say we cheated, but we probably did cheat a little bit. <laughs> not a big deal though. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything. Huh? We just played the freshman. Jaden. Eighth graders. This is gonna be seniors game. Just tug it. Yep, it's easy They're, win. I don't think. Wow. I think I just seniors heard are body strong this year. Apparently, I think they uh, let off the weight room. It took them a long time to get to get with. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. 
Good work out there, Bennett. Seniors, seniors. It took a little bit to get those across. What uh, what happened? We're just trying to save our energy for the end of the round here. Okay, yep, that's very, very smart. Um, who are you most um, looking out for? Who's your biggest rival? I'm thinking tough. They're looking pretty strong this year. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Uh, what about the eighth graders? Did you play them? No, we haven't played them yet, but we're sure ready to face them if we have to. Good idea. All right, thank you. Good luck. I think this is going to be an easy win for the sophomores, but I don't really know. What? I think this is going to be a win for the sophomores, yeah. Oh! But look at how many kids are on those that eighth grade team. There's about 80 of them. I honestly think that that might be more than 1,500 pounds. I think we better bring a scale in here. We need a scale. We need a scale. We need a scale. Uh, need a scale. scale. I don't think the person scale. running their class knows what uh, they're doing. Uh, wait, check. Their school, their, wait, their class check. advisor has no idea what they're doing. Go. All right. Big game here. Big game. Big, Big game. game. All right, we're going to hand it off to Mr. Arn here. You have to talk. I'm not talking. Yeah. All right, I'll bring it with me. I'll bring uh, no. Hello? What are your predictions today, Elias? Who do you think is going to win? Um, I'm hoping the seniors. Oh, upset. Juniors let go, seniors flew back. What just happened? Juniors just kind of gave up there. They knew they were going to lose, but that's okay. Not anymore. What? We definitely, the rope slipped. My hands are really sweaty. <laughs> what do you think about that move? Uh, that was, uh, Mr. God didn't like it. It wasn't my idea. I, okay, yeah, you're right. It's laps, probably. Don't even bring it up. <laughs> it's laps. It was definitely worth it. I'll take three laps for that. <laughs> oh my. Uh, I, I gotta say, I'm gonna have to demand a weight check on that eighth grade team. Yeah, the eighth grade, that looks, way, that looks way overweight. Pounds. Well, no, they're also light. But you know what? I, I bet most of them weigh 90 to 100 pounds. So take them all. Wow, uh, maybe not even 90. 80, 85 to 90 pounds. Get to the back. Got this. Maybe they'll let go. Uh oh. Uh oh. The eighth graders are really giving up. Oh my god. The eighth graders are going to take this one. The eighth graders are going to take this one. Good lord, the eighth graders took it. Oh my god. They are freaking out. The eighth graders just took it. I'm pretty sure since sophomore year, these seniors have taken first place every single year. Now the eighth graders come in and take it their very first year. I'm going to have to say, I want a weight check on that. Wow. Let's go interview. I'm just saying, um, the eighth, you guys since sophomore year have came in and won every single year until now. What, what, what happened out there? They just got stronger, I guess, you know, but... Maybe there's been some talk about overweight for the uh, for the uh, eighth graders. Yeah, definitely that happened. I, I'm definitely thinking they're overweight. But hey, what can you do? Hey, isn't it double elimination? It's double elimination. They only lost once. Hey, but they haven't lost either. They haven't lost at all. So then we should play another game. It's too late now. I'm sorry. Good game though. I was not there. Good game anyway. <laughs> right, Adam. Adam, what do you think about that tug of war? Uh, they have more people than us, and it wasn't fair. But yeah, we lost once. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to say um, that was way more than 1,500 pounds. Junior.